Hey people, Egypt here, it's BB3 Faction War, this is Argus Desert Gate and Chaos Space Marines vs Tyranids. For the blue Chaos team, Swagger Gitsmacker with a Chaos Sorcerer, offensive and disruptive hero with powerful battlefield manipulation and control. Alongside, Belial with a Chaos Lord, a durable and destructive hero, walking through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption fighting in melee. There's some good old Black Legion. And the Tenso rounding off the team with a Plague Champion, Starts off with a damage of a time, Bolt Gun can get melee weapons, some strong utility and support. Red Tyranids, double lick to Alphas, tailing here. We've also got Re Legion. These guys are infiltrating heroes, melee specialists that can disrupt and support a bit. This guy's sneaking on the west side up against Tenso. Are they going to flesh hook the poor Plague Champion? Oh, maybe they'll flesh hook a heretic to get a quick kill. Just sneaking around for now. Oh, they're just piling in. No flesh hook. I guess they're saving it. And rounding off the teams, Darth Vader with a Hive Tyrant. A very durable hero walking through objects that cannot be suppressed with powerful offense and disruption fighting in melee by default with a basic synapse. I shall call you Lorenzo. Got a. Doom bolts at point blank range there. Heretics got destroyed. Swagger Gitsmacker losing their default starting heretics. And the CSM barely getting away. That was not a good fight for the Sorcerer. Got Gitsmacked through the mid. Chaos Lords having some fun fighting some Termigants. Can fight them forever basically. And they have to run. Can they get a decap on the VP? West side. Tyranids are pushing on through. Got some spore mines up here for tailing. And Hormagaunts are munching on the Plague Champion. He goes for Fetid Armor to help control some of the movement with on demand suppression. Very good war gear, I think. But on the Holy Stench, bashing the east side are double Termigants of Darth Vader, who gets the rending talons on the way. The Tenso, by the way, with triple heretics up, which is fun. Termigant's grabbing the Contested Power. I think they should node it if they can. Always node your Contested Powers, fellas. Heretics with grenade launchers, worshipping corn, And then they run away because Hormagaunts are right on them. Killed a week from the Chaos Lord. CSM also fleeing. I thought the CSM were going to wade into melee with them alongside the Chaos Lord there. But I guess double Termigant's also shooting made that a little bit dicey. So already used Kill the Week. They should be piling on him here. Nope, they're just backing off. East side. Doom bolts. Painful, as always. CSM getting into the garrison. They can shoot with relative safety here. Safe from Lorenzo the Hive Tower, at least. 2 to 1 cap for the Chaos team. Swagger Gitsmacker does not replace the Heretics, by the way. Does have a Sword of Flame, though. Maybe could have finished off the Hive Tyrant. But they kind of retreated at the same time. Warrior brewed up for the two Lick to Alpha players to give them some basic synapse on the field. Hive Tyrant has his own basic synapse. We have a Barb Strangler also for tailings. Get a suppression immediately on the Plague Champion. A good special attack for those heretics coming in. It's on Nurgle Worship, providing some health regen. Grenade Barrage, nicely done. Timed it with the un unholy stench there. Now Noise Marines on the field. Oh, but they get suppressed. That Sonic Blaster does some great work against Tyranids, potentially. Lick to Alpha gets on them, though. Gets a good special as well. There's the Cophony. Also knocking down the Plague Champion, though. Heretics on these Warriors. But only in their default state. Not a huge threat with the Termigan support there. They get rid of the, get rid of the Lick to Alpha. Almost got him, actually. Still in play is the Tenso. Should be able to push through. Crypting poison on the noise when he's dropping a model. But you only need one model to fire the Sonic Blast. The Warriors are very low. What are they doing? Dropping a model there. Take okay, champion levels to two. Back to the mid. Big old fight brewing. Chaos Lord is here. Chopping through Termigants as usual. You might see the combi flamer from this guy. Belial with double heretics and double CSM. Which is a really good uh, opening, I think. So you've got the melee heretics to 
Doom Blast stuff, you have potentially Grenade Launcher Heretics, as Belial does, and the solid ranged backbone of the Chaos Space Marines that can also be used in melee in a pinch against other melee squads. Hive Tarrant levels to two. Rending Talons, rending that Chaos Sorcerer. Doom Bolts flies in. And they got Doom Blasted as well, I think. Here comes another Doom Blast. They did replace the Heretics then. These guys have an Aspiring Champion. He's got a Bolt Pistol and Chainsaw. Pretty good melee fighter. Also raises the health of the other Heretics a bit. So not quite as squishy, but they're taking a lot of damage here. Are they going to get away? It's only the Aspiring Champion left. And has to retreat through the Rending Talon Seismic Raw Crap and goes down. That was sloppy from Swagger. Should not have let those guys wipe. And invested in them as well with the Aspiring Champion. These are Belial's heretics trying to support the east side now. Because Belial has taken some losses. And all of those losses have fed into the XP of Lorenzo the Hive Tyrant. He's almost level 3 this fella. Has to retreat there though. Runs into some CSM with Eternal War. Do they both have Eternal Warf? They do for Belial. Swagger Gitsmackers also have Eternal War. The Tenso has dropped one of their heretics. Not sure if they were upgraded. They still got their Noise Marines. Double Termigrants, only one with Toxin Sacks though. And they've kept their Warriors melee re-legion. Are they going to go for the VP? No, it looks like they're rotating east. Oh, they want to grab the central points maybe. We're having a brood up for Darth Vader. Maybe looking for the power. And the double termigrants with Toxin Sacks alongside the Ravenna Brood's Devourers should make short work of the generators here. And indeed they are. Should get at least one of them down. His Swagger's remaining heretics. And those guys have got a very low amount of XP, so that's probably the new heretic squad. Cophony again to frustrate the Ligtar Alpha. Oh, but he's out of range and also getting melee on that fella. That was weird. Must have disrupted them before they used it. Got some aspiring champion heretics. And back up to three with double grenade launcher fellas in there too. Big champion almost level three himself, so he's done well. Here come the warrior brood with that barb strangler. Can they hit all of this stuff in their barb strangler shot? Heretics need to apply pressure, but they get crippled. Last uh, sonic blaster gets in there. 436 to 411 on the VPs. The east side is red. But it seems like they're doubling up here to push back. Indeed they are. Tier 2 though. For everyone aside from the Tenso. Are they floating? They must be floating. Only just now started floating. Boom bolts again. Warrior Brood very, very low. Are they going to wipe? Surely they are. Chaos Lord does get those Warrior Brood down. Those were Relegions, the melee fellas. 4-1-5 to 4 11, a good seismic roar. Lick to Alpha, barely makes it out. I think has a general glance. Oh no, it goes down. Heretic's got him. I doomed him to death by saying he got away. The curse of Indrid is overpowered. Chaos Lord getting shot to pieces. Breaking stuff as he gets away. Looks like they have kind of brute forced it here, the Chaos team, to get back onto that VP. Sorcerer is indeed on it. I think they should be going for the power bash here with those CSM. It looks like they want to push through the mid. I think the power bash is more important than the triple cap at this time. West side. Got Termigants from two different players here. Blood Crusher on the way for Swagger. The turns does indeed go to tier 2. And a Tyrant Guard is going to hit the field for Darth Vader. Now the Hive Tyrant can pull in Tyrant Guards from his global bar. So he might see double Tyrant Guards. Something Hive Minion used to run back in the day. With his Hive Tyrant. Deadly Jump. Up for the Lictor Alpha of Tailing. And a Zone Throat on the field soon. Double Blood Letters. The Blood Letters are typically a pretty good pick. Out the gate in Tier 2 for Chaos versus Tyranids don't have any vehicle armor as such to worry about. The, term, the Tyrant God can 
get vehicle armor by going into shield wall, but before that you'll be doing tons of damage with the bloodletters. They're good at messing up zone tropes and just generally great at chopping through warriors and venom brood and pretty much everything. Awesome pick. Here's the blood crusher for swagger. They got some more CSM up too. This is a bloodletter riding on a juggernaut with vehicle armor, good mobility and good DPS it is. Relatively fragile though at 600 hit points, especially since it doesn't get melee resistance, that thing. I think they should. Give him melee resistance, damn it. West side. Blood letters. Blood letters. Last masters are setting up. Nope. Turning to approach this now. Barb Shannon gets a decent shot on those heretics. There's the uh, unholy stench again. And we have Icon of Noble. Awesome. Don't get to see this very often. Passively damages nearby enemies. Don't get to see it just because... His mucus discharge is so good. He's going to die in there. Yep, does go down. But probably did a whole bunch of damage with his Icon of Noble. Got Touch of Noble on his Heretics here. Causing explosions on death, as you see there. Great synergy, of course, with their Doom Blast ability, which explodes one of the models. The explosion causes damage, knockback, and heals nearby allies. It's awesome. Quite expensive these days though at 175 red so you need to be careful and sure that you're going to get some good value out of it it's only 25 more than it was it used to be 150 but it feels like a lot when you're playing chaos lord level three with lightning claws bad news for any infantry that gets close to him and can get a revive here there we go gonna get a revive for the plague champion to get back onto his feet 380 to 339 on the vps where are the zone throats? Oh, they're back there. Got a full power bash. Electro shock grubs on the blood crusher there from the warrior brood. That's these fellas before they ran away. Got a tyranid activity in the mid. Some ripper swarms called in. Chaos Lord goes straight after the tyrant guard with those 100 DPS power melee claws chewing through him has to go into shield wall to not die let's we'll see what Lorenzo can do here have they still got the rending tunnels they do got improved synapse as well special attack there wasn't very useful kind of missed good time for seismic roar I think with the blood letters and the CSM right there there it is oh man blastmaster gets a good shot Chaos Lord still swinging away at the Tyrant Guard there. 341 to 339. Bloodlet is on the back line. Going after the Venom Brood to get those Synapse Backlashes. Yeah, just chewing through them. Big old explosion. And they actually, they could maybe use their teleport to try and finish them off there, but they didn't do it. Maybe it's on cooldown. I don't think so, though. Because they have full energy. Chosen Plague Marines now for the Tenso. Awesome. These guys unique to the Plague Champion. Power melee damage that does damage over time. Now I think the damage over time aspects of the damage is heavy melee. So they could conceivably chew through a vehicle given enough time. They're tough, they're slow, they have no melee charge and they do explode on death. Also have the Nurgle's Rock which creates zombies for anything around them that dies which is pretty fun. It's gonna be awesome. Tier 3 for tailing. Watch them die immediately now, now that I've built them up. Blood pressure goes down. CSM tried to get into melee and, and slowed down the former gods. I don't think it would have made a difference. It was the Venom Brood doing the work. Using their slaughter and drawing their chain swords. Chewing through the Hormogaunts. They really are pretty damn effective in melee when they pop their slaughter like that. Victor Alpha jumps in. Now has corrosive claws. Debuff damage resist and slow vehicles and they're a power weapon in their own right 286 to 339 Lick to Alpha a little bit isolated here where's he gone to? oh he, got, he died and repurchased immediately that was very strange like he just disappeared current guard in there from Darth Vader Got some levels on this thing. Well, got some XP on it. Not quite got a level yet. Boom bolts. 
a massive, messy fight. Zone throw. Double zone throw open D. Trying to get away. Stay away from the melee. The plague champion's got his plague fist up. And every time he gets close to something, of course, the icon of Noble is doing work. Down goes the tyrant guard. Often gets isolated. That guy is very, very slow without synapse around. Chosen plague marines. Very good potentially against a single entity because the damage of a time will all stack up on this guy. 223 to 339. Has to retreat the Lictor Alpha there. Egg Champion is still rolling. Does not have armor of pestilence, which you'll often see with the fist. For this extra tanking and durability, but fetid armor is awesome. Can stop stuff getting away from him if he pops the unholy stench, for example. 203 for 339. I'll just stop stuff trying, try, trying to get past him into his back line. But let us use their teleport. Using their teleport on Termigants, though, they should be reserving that for higher priority targets, I think, such as this Warrior Brood right here. Phasing out. You can't suppress Bloodletters because they're demons, so courage and that isn't really important to them. There we go. Chop, chop, chop. The damage they do. Plague Champion, meanwhile, is going to get that VP, I think. And the Chaos Team are going to get a triple cap. They have some VPs to make up. 1 and 7 to 3, 2, 1. Crippling Poison on the Bloodlet. They might need to retreat now. Yeah, there's a retreat. Already used their phase out, as we saw. Or Warp Shift, I think, as it's called. Getting their VP back. The Plague Champion ran off. Got the East Side, though. Oh, Imperial Abyss from Swagger Gitsmacker. Nicely placed in retreat path. Kills a couple of Ravenna Brood there. Did some good work, it seems. Because there's a lot of dead stuff in the middle. And Darth Vader's down to two units. Re Legion also down to just two units. The comeback is on. Definitely. I mean, they are tier three. They can start rolling out Carnifexes and stuff. Tier three for Belial. The Tenso also just starts the tier three right there. And the Tyranids bounce back. Looks like these guys are going to go for mid. The double zone throw still in play. These guys provide a health regen synapse. And have an artillery attack that doesn't damage friendlies. Not as much damage as like a plasma cannon or something. But not damaging friendlies is pretty damn good. Also doesn't disrupt though. Just like a psychic laser beam. The champion now level 6. Victor Alpha goes for the revive, but couldn't quite get it done. Does have menacing visage. So can unnoticed look menacingly at something. And make it retreat. Goes down though. Got some mark of corn. Chaos Space Marines here. Is that the Tenso? No, Tenso doesn't have any CSM. That's Belial's CSM. Got double mark of corn rolling here. Level 3 as well, those fellas. Both of them level 3, in fact. It's a lot of melee, a lot of nasty melee. Maybe we'll see Genestiders in response, but I don't think we will because they're going to get mugged by Bloodletters and double CSM and potentially yet more Bloodletters and Chosen Bloodletters. Not to mention the heroes, of course. Chaos Predator on the way for Gitsmacker. Carn effects for Darth Vader. No upgrade yet. We've got a Thorn back here for Tailing. A good shout, I think, against all this melee. You guys level yet? 24, 20 hit points to level 2 for these chosen plague marines. What just happened there? Oh. The blood letters got crippled by those termigates. It looked like the shot came from the other side for some reason. For a second there. But the Khan effect shot them. 197 to 191. Probably... I don't know actually. What kind of predator are we going to see here? Plague Champion goes down to the Carnifex. Last Master gets a good shot on the Rippers, though. Did the other Carnifex get a... Oh, we got Stranglethorn Cannon. Okay. Sitting on the east side with the VP. Tyrion is getting a natural back. 1 and 7, 1 and 1 still. There's a Tyranid Formation. Provides some nice buffs and does some good damage as they erupt. If they can keep them up on the field here. I don't think they provide permanent buffs. Or maybe they do. Maybe it just like... 
lowers a bit after the first 10 seconds or whatever it is. Land Raider Phobos on the way for Belial. The Chaos Predator's gone for Marco Zinx, so they're going to try and hunt the Carniflexes with this. Decent shout, I think. Rogues of Torment on the way for Gitsmapper. Can they get a shot? A shot at the Raveners. I think they hit them, though. There's a ton of formation again. Good hit on the Heretics. Stranglethorn might set up a hit here, and it does. Big damage. Lorenzo, the Hive Tyrant, needs to run. No, he's alright. Apparently, he's alright. Gets the Seismic Roar. And uses it to escape. Okay. Oh, man. Tank is getting ripped up by the Venom Brood and the Stranglethorn does survive though. 162 to 191. Tyranids push through the mid here. And they're on the VP. Might be a triple for the Tyranids now. Now Red of Phobos can hit the field momentarily. Another Chaos Predator this time for the Tenso. And they have tons of red. So we could see a nuke from Belial and all the Tenso actually. They might save up for Terminators, but they might not have a choice. They might need to drop a nuke here to stop a cap or something. What is this? Chosen Plague Marines being cool. Almost level 3. Love that it's getting stuck in. They must be leveled up, right? Yeah, level 3 as well. 1, 2, 2 to 1, and 1. Couldn't get the triple cap with Tyranids, but they got a double cap. And here's that Phobos with side-mounted twin-linked LAS cannons. Queen Link's Heavy Bolter and a Combi Bolter on top. Fun effect charges the hell away from that thing. There's an Imperial Abyss from Belial. But it doesn't seem like it did too much. It was going for the Zone Throbes, I think. Just mistimed it. Should have waited for a big fight, I think. We have a Mark of Corn Chaos Predator. Just buffs the damage of all the guns, but he found a Venom Brute. Venom Brute that will out happily outshoot it. Last Master gets a decent shot. Somehow didn't drop a model though. The Tenso does have blood letters to get on a Venom Brood that threatens his tank. It's always nice to have some kind of jumping, teleporting something unit that can help out your vehicles by getting on enemy AV. Re-Legion with a Swarm Lord on the way. Down to 50 VPs, the Chaos Team. Looks like they're going through the mid. Swagger gets smacked CSM on the VP, but they're going to get hit by zone throw shots. Look at that. Barb Strangler there as well. Couldn't actually get a decap. Bloodlet is teleporting into the back line, trying to create some space there. Hive Tarrant runs away. Lorenzo's now level 6. More stuff coming down from the east side, though. Nope, they're staying up there for now. Down to 30 VPs. The Chaos Team. Running out of time. That was double focused warp blast on the Predator there from the Zone Throats. Chaos Lord getting stuck in level 5. No other war gear on this guy though. Here's an Imperial Abyss from the Tenso. Nurgle flavoured. Killed a whole bunch of Termigants. Swarm Lord now on the Phobos. Super unit for Tyranids. Powerful combatant. That provides a speed and reinforcement synapse. Also has vehicle armor, 2,000 hit points of it. Zone uh, Venom Brew dropped in by Re-Legion. Can they get the tank? They can get the tank. 2 to 1 cap, down to 3 VPs. They are on the east side, though. There's the decap. They stopped it at 3 VPs. And they're, oh, they're not decapping. Bloodletter's not decapping here. There we go. That could have been. Terrible if they didn't get a decap. Gonna kill this fun effects. There we go. Probably gave, it, gave a decent chunk of XP there to that tank. Swarm Lord is chasing a Phobos. Just casually kills one of the heretics there as he's chasing. And they get the Swarm Lord down. And this is the situation you sometimes find yourself in. Do you turn around and take tons of shots as you leave, or do you just keep chasing? and try and get your kill. It's too late to turn around now. It's gonna go down, down it goes. Big losses for the Tyranids. Chosen Plague Marines harassing the cap here. Oh, they've got 
touch of Nurgle on them. So they're going to get their own explosion on death and the touch of Nurgle explosion on it. Only two models left though, needs to be careful. There's the retreat, there's another big old touch of Nurgle explosion. They might go down though. They do go down. One to one cap on three VPs. Chaos Space Marines need to hold on to their victory points down to one five two. We have the two to one. Do they risk going for the third? I think they have to keep pressure on it, right? We've got Terminators on the field for Swagger Git Smacker. Some more CSM for the Tenso. Carnifet's going to be ripped apart by Melee here. Is that Heretics in there? No, it's all CSM. I thought that fellow was an aspiring champion for a second. Down goes the Carnifex. Back towards the mid. They are relatively safe. Bloodlet is on the zone throw. Yeah, you need to teleport. You need to retreat out of it. Because look at... Even though they retreated immediately, still went down. Those are level 4 bloodletters, though, so they're doing huge amounts of damage. Can the Chaos Space Marines hold on? I think there's a pretty good chance of it. Re Legion down to 2 units. Darth Vader down to 3, although they're pretty good units. Level 7 Hive Tarrant here, too. Level 6 Lictor. Should force, probably force one of the CSM to retreat. Or maybe the bloodletters. Carn effects number two on the way for tailing. Where is that Lictor, by the way? Oh, he's in the mid. It's going to be tough to revive him. They've got to pressure the east. The Tyranids. Do they have time? They're down around 100 VPs now. Re Legion needs to spend their resources. I think they're waiting for another Swarm Lord, maybe. Phobos gets repairs. Blastmaster is set up on the east side. Plague Champion getting stuck in level 7. Keeps getting knocked over. Now getting some hits though, alongside the Chaos Sorcerer. Lorenzo the Hive Tyrant taking some damage, has to run. Hive Tyrant is level 7 still. Are they going for the garrison these guys? Might be. Got some Lightning Claw Chaos Terminators as well. He'll rip apart any infantry that got there. And they've pushed through onto the natural. Could get a triple cap here. But they're not doing so. They want to fight. Isolated the zone throw. It's not going to get away. And that Synapse Backlash does damage Carnifexes. 3 to 64 on the VPs. Thorn back Carnifex now for Paling. Might be too little, too late, kind of, uh, Chaos Lord finally gets on the decap here. A little bit of a charge from this fella. Gonna get it. Double cap is in for the Chaos Space Marines. It is indeed another Swarm Lord for Re Legion. Had to wait a long last time for this guy. Chaos dominating the battlefield now. Another Imperial Abyss from the Tenso. Right on the VP, stops the cat. Run effects trying to chase the Phobos down. Don't think it's going to be enough. Another Imperial Abyss back there from Belial. Isn't like four or five of them this game, I think? GG. They think they've got it with a double and three VPs, and I think they do. No way they can get onto the east side. Awesome stuff. We had a level 8 Chaos Sorcerer for Swagger Git Smacker. They had some losses early on, but recovered. Belial was very solid in the mid. And I liked the switch into this full melee loadout here with the CSM and the Bloodletters. And the Chaos Lord did get some stuff. Armor of the Inferno and Icon of Corn. Their Tenso with the triple heretics into Noise Marines. Kind of like uh, how Noisy used to play back in the day when he went triple heretics into Havocs quite a lot. And double CSM late game there with the Mark of Zinch to get the Warrior kills and Venom Brood kills. Level 5 Lick to Alpha. Level 7 Lick to Alpha. Not sure what they used the Menacing Visage on. And a level 7 Hive Tyrant. Didn't get it today, Lorenzo. But did solidly well, I think. There you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Big thanks to these players. 
for sending in a faction war. The Tenso, of course, for running these awesome lobbies. And I'll see you next time.